Detective John Smith had been working on the force for 20 years and had seen it all. He had solved some of the toughest cases in the city and was considered one of the best detectives in the business. But when he was called to investigate a missing diamond, he was not prepared for what he was about to find. It had been two weeks since the diamond had gone missing from the jewelry store in the city center. The owner, Mr. Johnson, was frantic. He had spent a fortune to buy the diamond and now it had disappeared without a trace. He had hired a team of private investigators to look into the matter, but they had been unsuccessful in finding any leads. That's when Detective Smith was called in. He had the reputation of being able to solve the most difficult cases and was confident he could find the diamond. He started by interviewing employees at the jewelry store. He spoke with the security guards, the shop assistants and even the cleaner. Everyone had an alibi and no one seemed to be involved in the theft. Next, he started to look into Mr. Johnson's background. He found out that the jeweler had recently taken out a large loan and was in a lot of debt. Could this be a motive for the theft? Detective Smith decided to investigate further. He tracked down the loan company that Mr. Johnson had taken out the loan from and found out that the jeweler had been making large payments to an unknown third party. He decided to follow the money trail and see where it took him. After a few days, he finally tracked down the mysterious third party. It was a woman named Sarah Jones. Detective Smith decided to pay her a visit and question her about the missing diamond. When he arrived at Sarah's house, he was surprised to find out that she was the owner of a pawn shop in the city. This was very suspicious, as pawn shops were known to deal in stolen goods. When Detective Smith questioned Sarah about the missing diamond, she told him that she had bought it from a man named Peter, Detective. E. Smith tracked down Peter and questioned him about the diamond. Peter claimed he had found it in a trash can and thought it was a worthless piece of glass. He had no idea it was a diamond. Having exhausted all his leads, Detective Smith was feeling frustrated. He decided to take one last look at the security footage from the jewelry store. Suddenly, he noticed something strange. There was a man in the footage that he had never seen before. He zoomed in and realized it was Peter, Detective Smith. Immediately put out an arrest warrant for Peter and he was soon taken into custody. After a thorough interrogation, Peter confessed to stealing the diamond and selling it to Sarah. With the diamond recovered and the thief behind bars, Detective Smith had solved the case. He returned to the jewelry store and presented the diamond to a very relieved Mr. Johnson. Detective Smith smiled to himself as he watched Mr. Johnson's face light up with joy. He knew he had done his job well. Once again, he h. Ad proved why he was one of the best detectives on the force.